What's up guys, my name is Elizabeth Garza and I'm an eighth grade science teacher from Southern Texas. I am here today because I am taking you along with me to see my room for the very first time. I am actually gonna try and get my tables moved in there. I know I'm in my car, I should have done this before I got in, but I was just way too excited. Um, I'm gonna try and get my tables, my science lab tables into my classroom to try and see what I might and might not have room for. Um, just because I'm not used to this whole middle school thing yet, so I have no idea what to expect. And um, so yeah, that's my main objective is get um, my tables into my classroom, arrange them the way I want them, and see what things I actually can take from home to school that I brought home from my fifth grade classroom and what are some of the things I'm gonna have to pass down to my husband for his first grade classroom or maybe get rid of or store or whatnot. I really need to get that little office of mine in my house cleaned up and organized because it's driving me completely bonkers. Goal for today, move in my tables, arrange them, and see what can actually go into my room that I have from home. So yeah, that's the game plan. I'm hoping to get that done as soon as possible because I do have to go work at the clinic today at one o'clock and I don't want to be late. So fingers crossed, I can get those tables moved in and please, 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 please make there be room for my carpet and some of my flexible seating so that way I can have a classroom library. So we'll see you there. Room. This is a look from the doorway and there's no tables in here as you can see so that's going to be my first objective is getting these tables in here and try and lay them out so I can see if I have any, any extra room. And this is the front. I have two counters there. There's the projector screen, a dry erase board, and two bulletins. So this is it. Okay. It's time to get to work. Okay guys, so I just spoke to the head custodian. He is going to bring in another custodian to help arrange the tables in the classroom because apparently they're pretty heavy. Um, but they're on break right now, so they'll be back in 30 minutes. Uh, so to kill time, I'm deciding to take a little tour around campus. I'm just gonna walk around and see where things are at. Tip number one for a new teacher, always know where things are in your campus before you get there. So first things first, find out where the bathroom is. Okay, I found out the boys' restroom, the girls' restroom, and I found the faculty restroom. It's all the way down the hall. Okay, just watch. Okay, that's the eighth grade hall. Um, that door right there? Yeah, that's my classroom. And I have to walk all the way down the hall to here. Okay guys, I'm back in my classroom and I just walked around the campus for a little while just to figure out where things are at, where the nurse's office is at, where the library is at, cafeteria, all that other stuff, um, because it's very important to know the layout of your campus. So tip for new teachers, go to your campus before the beginning of the school year, before your in-service days, and take a little tour around, get lost. That's how you're gonna find yourself around the school year. Don't do that. Don't decide to do that at the beginning of the school year, like at all, that's not a good idea. So, I'm a little anxious right now. I wanna get things going, but at the same time, I don't want to. So that's just me normally at the beginning of the school year. I get over it and we move on. So just waiting here so that way the custodians can bring out the tables. They just told me I was gonna have 13 lab tables and I have an idea of how I want them laid out. So it shouldn't take too, too much time. And then I'll know how much room I have around the room to try and figure out if I can bring some of my flexible seating stuff from my home. If not, they're going to my husband's classroom or a storage unit. So yeah, we'll go ahead and find out soon. And just a real quick question. I mean, you see how there's like a huge blank area there on the wall, there, 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 and that huge space right here. 
So I'm thinking those are going to be my bulletin board areas. The entire wall is cinder block. So I cannot use a staple stapler anywhere in this classroom. So everything's gonna have to be hung up either by glue gun if they allow me, or if not, we call it ticky tack. It's that, that tacky putty stuff. I'm hoping that it works. Okay, so one thing I have found out about that tacky putty is that when they turn off the air con, let's say over the weekend or, you know, holidays and stuff, it does get very hot and humid in the schools. So what tends to happen is all that stuff falls down because of the tacky, uh, if, the, if you use the tacky pudding. So I don't know, I guess I might have to ask around some teachers who are here or who have been here and see what they use. In my previous campus, half more than about three fourths of my classroom was cinder block and they allowed us to glue, hot glue everything on the wall. And then at the end of the year, we just used like a little, a scraper tool to scrape off all the excess glue and the paint wasn't damaged. So fingers crossed that they do, do allow us to do that here because there's a lot of room here for bulletin boards and for, for board space. I mean, granted, I'm only teaching science. So normally I would do like ELA, math, science, social studies all around my room, but that gives me room to have like an inner interactive word wall, student work, uh, and I, I don't know what else I'll try and figure out, but I know I don't want to be looking at white walls the entire year, and I want to decorate the classroom. I don't know if the kids are going to think like this is childish, but I'm pretty sure they're going to like it soon, even if they're not used to it. So change is good. So yeah, let me go ahead and just, I don't know, wait, I have to 15 more minutes until the custodians get here, and I'll just try and like plan in my head and just stand here and look. Have you ever done that? Stand there and like look around for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Try and visualize everything that you want and where you want it. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. We'll see you guys. Okay guys, the custodians just finished coming in here. My tables are set. I did not record them setting it up, of course, privacy. I didn't want to put them on video, but I will show you the aftermath and I am like already loving the setup so far, except for one thing and I will show you that. Let me just show you really. Look at this. Science, lab tables, set up in groups, of course. Knowing me, I could not have them in rows. That's just not how I work very well. So I have a total of 13 tables. So I'm in a, there are two per, two, two students per table. So this will house six students, another six, and another six, six over there. So there's three, three, and three. And in the back, there's two and two. So that would be four and four, giving a total of six, 12, 18, 22, 26 students in my classroom. So this is the table set up so far. I'm liking it. This is a view from the back of the room. And I love it because there's not a single student whose back is going to be facing the front of the classroom. I love it because they're sitting side to side. So that's perfect. And I'm gonna show you what I'm super excited about right now. You see that entire empty space right there? Well, of course that door is gonna be closed because that's the closet. But look at this huge space right here. I can literally have a little flexible seating slash library area for my kids. I have a black carpet that I think will fit perfectly right here. It might, might come into this person's chair, I'm not too sure, but we'll figure it out. And then I have these two stools that I purchased at Walmart, and I have my um, shelves that I purchased at Target. Hopefully those would work. If not, I might have to go buy some more. But I'm thinking this would be an amazing area just for a sit down, chill type of area. Of course, that trash is not gonna be there, geez. And um, I can make this wall into like an interactive science word wall to go along with the reading. My plan is to have my novels and also nonfiction books checked out from the library based upon whatever it is that we're studying, you know, physical science, um, life science, whatnot. So I'm thinking that is what's gonna go here. This area, I'm not too sure just yet. I'm thinking I might put the, the cubbies here for the student journals. That way, as they're walking in through the door, they can come pick up their stuff and then come sit down. The one thing I'm not liking, is this thing right here. Yeah, that's a teacher's desk. So I have no other place to put it. They said that they can put it in this area, which I'm not too fond of it because as it is, I'm short. And with this big old thing in the way, there's no way I can reach the board unless I jump on the desk. 
And two, my back would, if I ever sit at the place, I, my back would be facing the students, so that's a no-no. So yeah, this is the other spot the custodians say that teachers mostly put their things or mostly put the desk, but I'm not quite jiving it. I also thought about, hold on, let me close this door. I also thought about maybe putting that desk over here and making this into like a teacher corner but i know that my students would probably love it a lot more if i did something here for them and the other idea i had is maybe putting it right here against the wall but it kind of blocks the entrance so that's not a good idea so yeah i have no idea where to put this darn thing any ideas of where i should put this I honestly can't think of anything. If I put it anywhere else, it's gonna either block cabinets, block entrances. The only other idea I had is maybe getting it and turning it. I don't seriously doubt I'm ever gonna be sitting at this desk. I'm more than likely gonna be sitting here. I'm gonna get a stool and sit right here. And I'm pretty sure this is where the document camera and all that good stuff is gonna go. I highly doubt I'm gonna be sitting here, but the top, the, top, the countertop, of it might be useful so i'm thinking of getting it and turning it to kind of do like an l type of desk but i don't know we'll see how that works i'm going to try it out okay y'all so this is what i came up with so far i'm liking this better than how it was before but let me know down in the comments below what you all think um, I, like I said, I don't think I'm ever going to be sitting at the desk. If I'm going to be sitting down, it'll probably be right here. I'm going to get myself a stool of some sort, so that way I can put up here, and I'll be doing most of my work here with the students. During conference or planning periods, I probably will sit here. If not here, I'm thinking this is where I'm going to have like my printer and my computer set up. I don't believe they're going to be giving us any desktops from what I understand, but I am going to have a total of about 15 Chromebooks. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make this area here my Chromebook area. I'm gonna get a charging dock and I have to figure out somewhere or another to store these Chromebooks because they're not giving us a cart. And over here, I'm thinking of having my personal printer because I'm not gonna have a printer in my room. So I'm bringing my own personal printer here. So I'm gonna make this into like my workstation. So if I need to sit down and do any work, I'll probably pull up a chair and sit right here. And this becomes like my teacher desk. This is just gonna be extra counter space for like my personal materials that I might need. And I made it to a point where this drawer, I can easily open these. And this one's filled with just a bunch of stuff. Um, the only thing I was having trouble with is because here there is, I don't know if you can see it, right here, yeah, you can see it, right here, there is like a little latch, so if it goes forward, these drawers don't open, so I have to make sure I have enough room to be able to pull it back so the drawer can open, so I, that's what I was having trouble figuring out how to do it, but all in all, I think I like it. These can easily open still, so I don't have any problem with that. And so far, I think I'm golden. So I think I'm gonna have room to bring in my black carpet that I had in my classroom. It's gonna fit perfectly right here. It's not anywhere near the science station, so I don't have to worry about anybody spilling anything. I can have those two benches right here, my shelf here for books. So this could be my little library area. Like I said, student chairs are gonna be at their desks that could be my workstation my, that could be my level teacher corner and over there that's going to be like the technology corner chromebooks um ipads and so forth and then yeah we'll just take it from here next stop it's going to be going over to my house and sorting through the wonderful mess i have in my little office and quick side note guys i got my room key already i'm so excited i know it's kind of weird it's like the end of july i have two more weeks before school starts so honestly i'm panicking but i have my room key so that means i can go in and out as i please and the only thing i needed help with was with those tables the rest i can do on my own so yay me okay guys i know the light here is horrible but this is what i'm having to work with so i apologize for the light but i wanted to show you real quick my little office area that i have at home it's stuffed with all of my stuff from fifth grade and i have to sort through every single one of these things it's all across the wall and on this side and then 
that's some of my stuff in fifth that I know I'm not going to be taking with me. That's going to be staying here. I've had these things for several years, but it's only fifth grade material, so it won't be of any use to me right now. So yeah, I have to sort through all of these things and see what I can take with me to my new classroom. So this is going to be a huge task. Um, so I'm not going to put that along with this video. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right here. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right here um, because it's going to take way too long to film me sorting through all this and stuff. So that'll be day two of my next vlog. As you can see, I have my printer here and all that lovely stuff all around me. So it's going to take a while. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or videos like it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of any future videos I will upload. I'm going to be doing a classroom setup series. And always, my friends, don't forget to follow your heart and think positive. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video and supporting my YouTube channel. If you'd like to watch any past videos, go ahead and click the link down here or up here. And for all my peeps out there, don't forget to follow your heart and think positive. We'll see you guys next time.